but before I add that main text area I want to show you guys uh, one of the shortcuts I was talking about and actually hold on I'm getting ahead of myself now once you have this button selected go over here to the object name and you see where it says push button actually change this to go button so go button and I think that's a you know a little bit better because it does say go on it and whenever we're coding it's just gonna more clearly uh, define what button we're working with so make sure that my object name is set up now if you hit the shortcut hold control on your keyboard and hit A at the same time as you notice it selected all of my widgets so now that all of my widgets are selected go ahead and hold down control on your keyboard and hit H now once you do that check it out they line up in a horizontal layout already set up for you by default so now you can just go ahead and adjust this entire layout and how freaking sweet is that and who the heck is texting me right in my middle of the tutorial I'll read it if it's not too embarrassing okay and two new messages actually from Kirk and Joby I'm not even gonna read them because not interested alright so, so <laughs> sorry for that little break and uh, now that we have a horizontal layout laid out perfectly what we want to do now is we want to add the main text area that the text is gonna appear because you know what are we searching for right now a word in where a gray box no way we need a text area so go up here and type in the word text edit and a text edit widget is basically are you freaking kidding me quit texting me should probably just sh put my phone on silent but instead I'll just get mad every time someone texts me during the tutorial so anyways a text edit area is basically an area that you can have of course a big thing of text in so this is gonna be like the paragraph and this is gonna be the term that you're searching for so go ahead and lay that out in the general area and now once you do that click the gray box and this is uh, kind of important so pay attention if you know you were uh, you were watching YouTube videos or something make sure you don't have any widget selected but the gray box itself and once you have that gray box selected hold down control and press L on your keyboard now check this out everything gets laid out perfectly and a nice beautiful vertical layout so now that we have everything lined up and it just looks amazingly pretty the last thing I want you guys to do is go ahead and right click the go button and hit go to slot now obviously you already know what slots are pretty much um well I already explained it. I'm not gonna explain it again just a waste of time but what we are interested in is the clicked slot right here so go ahead and hit OK and now we pretty much have our interface set up ready to start typing the code so in the next couple tutorials what I'm gonna do is first of all show you guys that the code that we need to create but aside from that I'm gonna be taking you guys through all of the code that was generated automatically for us and I just want to go over all of this code line by line because you know it's nice to know what we need to do for the program to work but it's even better if we have a full understanding of what every single line does even the ones that were automatically generated for us so for now uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put my phone on vibrate, and I'll see you guys in the next video.